Good morning. I'm delighted to be joining you today as we celebrate the Historically Black Colleges and Universities Week. I want to extend my gratitude to Jonathan Holifield, members of the White House HBCU Initiative, including to Ron Smith, and all of you here today for making this week a success, despite the ongoing challenges of COVID-19. I also want to recognize our NSC Senior Director for Africa, Aaron Walsh, and our Ambassador to South Africa, Lana Marks, for their efforts. I'm pleased to announce President Trump's intent to establish the U.S. Africa Institute for Epidemic Preparedness and Innovation, which will serve as the Africa Regional Center for America's response to outbreaks. HBCUs will be the principal partners of the U.S. government in this historic effort. The United States has made over $140 billion in health investments in Africa over the past 20 years. Today, the Institute is an opportunity to reaffirm the United States' leadership in public health on the continent and for HBCUs to lead the way forward. The initiative we commence today aligns the unique public health contributions of HBCUs at home and abroad with the administration's national security strategy. HBCUs will be at the forefront of our efforts to prevent, detect, and respond to disease outbreaks, including HIV and other health threats in Africa and beyond. The U.S. Africa Institute will build the leadership and capacity of African health professionals and support the next generation of African health leaders, establish a data hub to support the rapid detection and mitigation of pandemics, and accelerate scale-up innovation. President Trump believes that the U.S. Africa Institute for Epidemic Preparedness and Innovation will support the U.S. government and HBCUs as we play an important role in keeping Africa and the world safer from diseases such as the COVID-19 virus we are now facing. Thank you for your support of this key initiative. God bless you and may God bless the United States of America.